Hey guys, welcome back to Vanilla Play. And we're back today in our little village. We're going to have to get a name for this place very soon, I think. As, uh, you know, it's starting to come together pretty well. And, uh, you know, it is noon here. And, I'm gonna have, like I said, we're going to have to get this place named so we can start uh, calling it my name. And I've done a little bit of work in here uh, since the last episode, more or less. I did some terraforming. And uh, got some stuff prepared for this episode. I also went out and found some more clay and been cooking up the clay into bricks because soon we're going to be wanting to get more of these bricks. So let me go ahead and make up a good little stack of these bricks for us. There we go. Good stack of bricks. And we got eight more in here. Throw those in there. So there's another half stack right there. And then. Uh, Probably about almost two stacks of bricks. That's not too bad. All right, well, today what I want to work on is, you know, we got our little farm, but this is just our little, little itty-bitty old wheat farm. I'd like to expand this out a little bit. Not just ours, but I'd, I'd actually like to get a real farm going for maybe a farmer later on. So let's go ahead and gather up some materials and go get started on this. I got a little bit of dirt already. I grow some pumpkins out there. Do we have any melons? We didn't find any melons, did we? Hmm. Well, let's go ahead and grab the water buckets. And let's see. I know I got some clay right here, but I'm keeping that clay for like pottery and stuff. I guess we'll go ahead and use some regular seeds out there as well. We already got sugar canes growing out on the, the beach outside. You see them out there a little bit. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and grab some stuff out of here. Uh-oh, this is supposed to be over here. Whoops. I'm going to go ahead and grab this little stack of jungle. Actually, no. Let's go ahead and grab this. Grab these two stacks of jungle wood planks. And let's go ahead and grab us a crafting table to take with us. We've got some pumpkin seeds already. So I'll take those as well. Hmm. A little bit of bone meal. Not a whole lot. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and take the chest. I'll probably need the chest. Cocoa beans, seeds. There we go, a carrot. That'll work. We can grow some carrots. Maybe we can find ourselves a potato from a zombie later on. Maybe we'll have a random encounter with a zombie holding a potato soon. Now, someone was also mentioning we could actually combine our redstone up. Now that we're on 1.5 and all that good stuff. We can actually make into blocks of redstone. That actually looks pretty cool. Uh oh. A <laughs> uh, good way for us to store our redstone, I suppose. I might do that. Might even be able to build something out of it, actually. It's a nice red block. We could make a barn out of it, but it, it, the texture on it looks kind of weird, I think, for a uh, barn, in my opinion. Yeah, it just looks a little weird. So uh, we might not go that route, but we'll see. And let's go ahead and grab a little bit of coal, just to be safe. Now, like I said, we don't have any potatoes, and I don't have any melons, but pumpkins, seeds, and carrots will actually leave room open for the other ones. Now, where I'm going to put this farm is we're actually going to put this out here by the sheep. We're actually going to put our farm out here. We want to do a little bit more on this side of the island, as we've been doing a whole lot on the other side. Uh, as you can tell, I mean, it's looking pretty nice, but, you know, like I said, I'd like to be able to start working on some stuff over here. Now, I did kind of terraform this area a little bit. As you can see, it's a little bit more flat, not so jagged. And I did a little bit of terraforming over here as well. Take a look. See? And I'm still working on this little patch right here. I think I might wind up moving this over a little bit later for a different part of our farm. But I think I'm going to go ahead and put it right out here. Now, let's see. I want at least two blocks. 
There we go. Yeah, I want at least two block, like kind of like a little pathway, and I'm probably gonna make a pathway there as well. Just so then I have something we can walk up on. And then we'll have some stuff back here too. This is just our little pin for our sheep. Looks pretty nice there in my opinion. Uh oh, sun's going down. Guess let's uh let's go ahead and run back to the house and uh, take a nap real fast. I didn't know it was getting so late already. Now we're also gonna be making a cocoa tree farm uh, pretty soon, and probably just a regular tree farm. I think that'd be uh, very beneficial for us. I'm also gonna grab some stone, and probably actually some stone steps, because I'd like to make our pathway over there for the sheep. Let's go ahead and grab that real quick. Let's see, we already got some stone slabs made up. Let's go ahead and uh, get some stone out. Make up a few more stone slabs. Probably too much there, but that'd be all right. Let's get to sleep, grab a little nap, and we'll get back to work. Ah, uh, there we go. <laughs> I almost went to the yawn there. Got my coffee, let's get going. They should put coffee in here though. They really should. I'm thinking about getting rid of this little... Hmm. Wait, this does go somewhere, though, doesn't it? Holy crap, it does. Oh, don't you even dare, zombie. Don't you even dare. I thought this went somewhere. This is interesting. We got ourselves another little ravine to explore later. Hmm. Maybe we shouldn't close this off. Wow, I didn't know zombies were smart enough to climb water. Huh, interesting. We'll have to look into that a little bit later on, I think. But here's our other little area where we kind of had our mind before. Like where we came down here and we tried to trap one of a, uh, well, John version one. <laughs> you guys remember him. Uh, we actually tried to do a little bit of mining down there and stuff, so uh, we'll leave that kind of open just for memory's sake. All right, now let's go ahead and clear ourselves a little path here. Like I said, I'm gonna do like two width pathway right in front of these guys here. And I'm thinking about doing the slabs here. I don't know if this is what I really want gonna take a look at it and eye it real quick and see if this is gonna look okay. Darn you sheep. Let's go ahead and get our dirt back out, place it back down. Mmm, it looks too tiled in my opinion. I might just go ahead and have to stick with the stone, I think. It's just, uh, I don't know, it just it just feels wrong. <laughs> like I said, guys, this is the part of building. You know, for me, this is a part of building. Trial and error, trial and error. You gotta try it and see how it looks. You know, you never know until you finish it. And, you know, it'd really stink if you wound up doing it a large scale project and just wind up not looking great at all. And you just have to go, like, oh crap, now I gotta do this whole thing over again. Uh, but it's okay, you know, you gotta make sure you make it the way you want. You know, make, make it look the way you want the best part. Yeah, there we go. That'll look a little bit better in my opinion. Go ahead and take care of this guy. Yeah, I think that'll work. Yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and actually do that on all of these. That way I can kind of see where the, the gate's at. It actually helps bring the, the gate out a little bit. See, so now you can kind of get a better idea where the gate's at just by looking at the pathway. Your mind just kind of tells yourself, hey, there's a gate there. Let's go hit on that. Now, these guys have been getting out a little bit lately and been upsetting me, but, uh, you know, I'll let it slide this time. I'll let it slide. All right, so I'm just gonna kind of trim this little edge off here. I think we'll be all right. Oop, a little too much trimming there. Do that. I think that looks good. Now we're going to put our farm 
out here, and I want to be able to make ourselves a nice sized farm. So let me go ahead and throw down a crafting table. I think we're actually going to plonk him down right there. And going to make ourselves some sticks. Whoops. Come here. Get ourselves some more fences. That's what we're going to be using. Hmm. Let's go ahead and uh, make a little bit more. Yeah, but that should be okay for a minute. We'll see how far this takes us. Now, let's kind of start this like right long here. We're going to match it up with that, kind of. But we are going to make it a little bit wider, so we are probably going to need some more fences very soon. Oops. Messed up there. And we're going to take it right along here, so I'm going to have to clear out this a little bit here. So I'm trying to, trying to make it a little bit more symmetric to that, even though it's not the same size. You know, I just want the edges to be in line as well. Okay, so that's perfect. And I want a little bit of room here in the middle so we have some room to walk around in. Now I'm probably going to expand out that way or maybe even make another one right there, like make a smaller farm for something else right there. This is gonna be our large farm. Looking good so far in my opinion. Now I'm probably gonna to need to go ahead and head back and grab some more wood. I didn't know I was gonna need this much, but I'm gonna grab some wood. We're gonna grab some bone meal. That way I can get some more carrots going, more than the one we have. You know, unfortunately, we haven't found a NPC village where we can actually harvest the potatoes and carrots. We've actually had to try and kill zombies for them, so you know, it's not a bad thing. Just uh, gonna take a little little while. We're gonna make some room for melons and for some uh, can or potatoes. I was gonna say carrots. Uh, let's see. All right, we're good there. And I was gonna get some more wood. Let's actually go around the back side. I don't need to go through my house. Got a gate right there for easy access. All right, and let's go to grab. I know I got four fences. I'm leaving those in there for now. And I'm only. I want a half a stack of jungle wood planks because I might use it to build something. So, uh, let's see. Do that and that. And that'll give us 40 more fences. That should be more than enough. And let's see if we can't go ahead and make ourselves a couple fence gates. Let's actually just go ahead and grab these as well. Hmm. Just making sure I don't want to grab something else. I'm going to grab some glass just to be safe. Might go ahead and grab some glowstone too. Let's just bring all of it. Except for that one piece. That way I know where it goes. I can just shift click it back in there and I don't have to reorganize. Okay. Just make sure I still have some stone and stuff on me. I don't exactly know I'm going to build it just yet, but I do feel like I need to work on this church a little bit later on. It just looks... <laughs> you guys are probably going to be upset about it, but it just looks too much... Too cobbly to me. And I'm sure it does to you guys too. We're going to have to find a way to change that I think because from a distance it just looks like a big pile of rubble <laughs> needs some fixing all right so we're probably gonna take this down right in the middle don't know exactly where the middle's at I don't even know if this is odd so one two three four five one two three four five six seven so that would be the middle Not bad. Looking all right. Let's go ahead and grab our other water bucket. Let's get some water out here. There we go. And we'll get ourselves some water reservoirs made up here. So let's see. I want a little pathway in here. And I'm probably going to make it out of the jungle wood planks. 
just to kind of change up the, the look a little bit. Let's go ahead and get ourselves a nice little outline going. Shouldn't take too long. Our shovel's almost dead. I'm going to have to make me up another one of these soon. I just, right now, the reason why I also don't have an enchanted shovel or, you know, I'm not using my enchanted pickaxe because, well, you know, I, I really only need to use it for, like, redstone, coal, diamond, stuff like that. Uh, but the reason why I don't enchant my shovel or my sword right now is because, you know, right now, more important is probably my armor. You know, I'll probably wind up using my tools a lot faster than everything else, so it'd probably be a better idea to have myself the, uh, the enchant saved for, you know, for my armor. Let's go ahead and give ourselves a little perimeter here. Something we can kind of walk around. Like I said, yeah, we're going to definitely need some more jungle planks, I think, looks like. Right, we'll get some more of those in a minute when we have to head back. All right, let's head over to our crafting table real quick. Make ourselves a quick little... I was gonna say, let's make ourselves a quick hoe, but I don't think I'm going to be able to do that until I do this. Of course, I could have got some iron in there, but... That'd be alright. Alright, so let's go ahead and get an idea how we're going to do this. So, I'm thinking... here I don't know if I'm gonna wanna go right next to that block or not right next to this wood here I don't know if I really want to do that we'll see so I'm just gonna go ahead and fill this guy in all nice and pretty like there we go looking good Go ahead and get some torches up real fast. Whoops. Throw my stuff on the ground again. Trying to get out of that habit. At least line up the corners just so we can kind of get an idea. I'll put this one there for now. And I'm probably going to use some glowstone on this farm here, but let's go ahead and get our hoe out, our trusty hoe. Hmm. I just don't know if I'm going to do that. I don't think I really want to do that. Because that just... To me, that's just like a waste, you know? That's just kind of a waste. Uh, maybe we could put like a row... Like on the fourth here. And we'll leave a block. And fill this in real quick. Whoops. Going a little crazy here. There we go. So that way, that should be able to take care of these three rows. And it should be able to take care of this. So if I put... Right here. Another row right here. We should be good. This should actually be able to water the entire farm. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, block all this back off real quick. And let's go ahead and fill this guy in. There we go. There we go. That's a little bit better. Now, I think what I'm going to do is we'll leave a row here in the center. Let's go ahead and take care of this guy. We'll leave a row here in the center, something that I can walk on. I know I know, I can walk on the crops, guys. I just want to make it look nice. And we'll be able to put a row here. Definitely going to have a row here. Basically what I'm trying to get at is we're going to have more than enough room here to do what we need to, so. I just want to make it look nice. Yeah, I 
I think that's gonna look pretty good. That looks kind of like a farm, in my opinion. And I'll be able to put some pathways in between here. Maybe a, maybe some cobblestone or something, like a gravel. Just kind of like a little path. Yeah, I think that looks pretty nice. Now, we are going to need some carrots. I'm going to put some carrots in the ground. I'm going to go ahead and bone mill this guy up. Give me a couple carrots out of that. Start multiplying these guys here. Try and get me at least a row of these things real quick. Uh oh. <laughs> Don't eat it, Bentley. Don't eat it. There we go. Now we got a row of carrots. Uh, theoretically, I'd like to have two rows of carrots. And I'm probably going to need some light on this middle row here. So uh, for the time being, let's go ahead and just plunk us up down some torches. Otherwise, I don't know if these seeds are going to grow. We'll have a couple rows of seeds here. So I'll have carrots, wheat, and I'll probably have a large portion for potatoes here. Just because the potatoes are pretty nice to have. Hmm. You know what? No, let's uh, go ahead and make three rows here. We'll make it a little symmetrical. We'll have uh, three rows of wheat, and then we'll have potatoes here. We're going to save that for potatoes. Then we'll have all of our carrots here. Nice. Looking good so far, I think. All right, let's go ahead and head back. Get some more jungle wood planks. And uh, we're going to probably need some more sticks while we're at it, because I'm going to want to... Oh, crap. Make us a little uh, roof, awning, whatever you want to call it. I don't know. Do we want to do that? Hmm. It'd probably be an idea. Because we already got water in there. Oh yeah, we, we should be trying to kill some, uh, some zombies. Don't you even think about it, buddy. Don't you even think about it. What's up with the creepers tonight? Creepers like my village. <laughs> They're ready to get rid of it. They're like, ooh, new village has been built. Time to destroy it all. Well, that guy's tough. All right, zombie, let's play. I want you guys to drop me a potato. Give me a potato. No potato. No potato, no potato. You're gonna hurt me, aren't you? <laughs> but you can't, I got too much protection. You can't hurt me. Now, let's go ahead and take care of the creeper. I don't like him sitting by my house. I don't see any more zombies. All right, let's go ahead and grab some more seeds. I'm going to need some more of those. Grab us a little bite to eat real quick. Get us a nap. Can't because there's a skeleton on my roof. All right. Or he's in my backyard. How'd you get in my backyard? Oh, he probably fell off my roof. He's probably one that fell off my roof and right here. Gotcha. Makes sense now. Makes sense. All right, let's see. Let's put this away. I got still, still got some fences left. Now I know I'm forgetting about the pumpkins, guys. Don't worry. We're gonna take care of that. We're gonna make a. I think I'm gonna make a separate one for pumpkins and melons because I, they're gonna they're gonna grow a little bit differently. So I'm gonna make a different uh, you know garden or a little farm for them. I think I'm gonna take half a stack of this. And I think what I'm gonna do is put some of this dirt away because I don't need all this dirt on me. Get rid of some of this dirt. Go away dirt, I'll leave a stack. Oops. There we go. All right. Probably should have, well, the sun's coming up anyway. <laughs> we'll see if we can't maybe take out a few zombies on the way. Uh, those are creepers and skeletons. I don't know if I really want to go that way. And a spider. 
There's some zombies. Let's go take care of those guys before it gets too light outside. Come here, friends. Let's play. Spider, get out of here. I didn't want you to play with me. Come on, drop me a potato. Drop me a potato. These guys do drop potatoes, right? Sometimes. They drop like potatoes and uh, carrots, right? Well, hopefully we can get a potato from one of them one day. Right, let's go ahead and get this place opened up. Let's finish putting our seeds down real quick. Let's go ahead and finish our outline here. Oh yeah, I didn't grab any gravel or cobblestone, did I? Darn it. Hmm. You know, it really doesn't look too bad like it is. Yeah, I might leave it like that. And later on I'll put signs up, carrots, wheat, potatoes. I'll do that in a little bit though. Let's go ahead and get ourselves up a, a little awning on this guy. Whoops, that uh, totally did not work out the way I wanted it to. And you flew out over there. Exactly the way I did not want you to go. So these guys, two up and then start the awning. So I'm gonna kinda probably do it like mine over at my house because I kinda like the way that it looks and it provides adequate sunlight. I like how I'm able to jump inside of that fence. All right, now we got that taken care of. Let's see what we can't do here. All right, can't do too much because, well, we don't have any uh, oak wood. We have uh, jungle wood planks, but, hmm. I don't know how well that would look. But like I said, you never know unless you try. So I'm just going to plunk that down there for right now. And we're going to try some half slabs. Jungle wood half slabs. See if we can't make a way up here real quick. My own little customized way up. And you never know, it might actually look better because where you get that pathway down there and it's uh, jungle wood, it might actually look better. You never know unless we try. So I'm just gonna do this front right here real quick and see how this looks. And that'll tell me if I want to do that or not. Now, I feel like I'm gonna have to do something like this. Hmm. I'm trying to think about that piece right there. Oh, hey, bud. Didn't uh, know you wanted to join us for supper. I uh, don't really have enough, but uh, you're free to stay. I don't know if I really want to go that route. I think I'm going to probably just keep with the oak wood because that just looks a little weird in my opinion. So we'll just go ahead and keep with that. I will probably hook that up a little bit later because that's just going to take a little while to do. This is uh, quite a bit to fill in, but... You know, for the most part, that's basically what I'm going to wind up doing. And uh, let's go ahead and utilize some of our glowstone real quick before we uh, get off here. Let's grab this glowstone out. And I know I definitely want it in the corners. Put a piece there. Put a piece there. Pick up the torch. Go. Now, maybe one right here on the edges. As we walk in, that kind of helps, you know, say, hey, look, here's the entrance and the exit. All right, now I'm thinking uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So maybe. On that fifth block there. There 
go. I think that'll provide adequate light. This one should go right in here. And as far as this, we'll go ahead and mimic that. Right, oops. I'm gonna have to go back to the uh, nether and get some more glowstone soon. There we go. Now all we gotta do is worry about the center. And I think we'll go ahead and just plonk these two guys down right here. I don't think that's the absolute center, is it? No, but it's pretty close. I think I'd need uh, another set of two right there, but that'd be okay. This guy should stay nice and lit up during the night time. Kind of like a little modernized farm, I think. Looks pretty good, in my opinion. And I need to leave this wheat out here for the uh, sheepies. There we go. And later on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start me up a little farm here, probably. Once I get this a little bit moved more out. And we're gonna grow our melons and our pumpkins here. So once I finish clearing that out, We'll start working on that, but uh, off camera, I'm probably gonna go ahead and work on the roof here, this guy, and probably use glass, you know, kind of in rows or in certain areas. We'll see. I'll, uh, I'll come up with something pretty cool. But that's it for me. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys think. If you have, have any ideas of stuff you guys would like to see me build, put it in the comment section down below. Uh, you know, tips, tricks, and comments are always welcome anytime. If you guys would rate the video, I'd greatly appreciate it. And until next time, guys, we'll see you then. Goodbye.